it's important to understand in 2019 the treatment of breast cancer is very multidisciplinary and all members of that team should really be involved in the treatment decisions up front. If a patient is being considered for neoadjuvant chemotherapy, it's important that she's been examined by a breast surgeon before that treatment starts. We want to determine her uh, candidacy for breast conservation both before and after treatment. If we are considering breast conservation, we want to be sure that a clip has been placed in the tumor so that we can identify that tumor bed when we go to treatment. We want to have a good assessment of her clinical node status. Is she node negative or node positive? Uh, because all of these things are then going to impact our surgical recommendations at the completion of her therapy. Also, the imaging that we use is very important. So we like to obtain high quality uh, imaging, mammogram, ultrasound, sometimes MRI before treatment starts, and then repeat that same imaging at the end of treatment to help us really make uh, our most uh, educated guess as to whether the patient is going to be a good candidate for breast conservation or not. So it really, we sh the surgeons and medical oncologists and even radiation oncologists really need to work together in the management of patients who are being considered for new adjuvant chemotherapy or those that receive new adjuvant chemotherapy so that we can really take advantage of everyone's expertise and the really great results that we're seeing from the uh, systemic therapy today to really optimize our local regional outcomes for our patients.